morning friends welcome to moment of truth my name is ginger and what we do on moment of truth each day is we look at one verse from the bible and from that we learn a little bit of truth might change our day might change our whole life um but it's going to do something because god's word is so powerful like that and where we find ourselves today is in the book of matthew and we are reading in chapter 13 and i will read verse 30. let both grow together until the harvest at that time i will tell the harvesters first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned then gather the wheat and bring it into my barn so these are the words of Jesus. This is a parable. You can read the entire parable um, in the book of Matthew, starting with verse 24 all the way down to 30. But for the purpose of this little moment of truth, we just focus one verse. And so the verse that I have chosen is verse 30. And <clears throat> it starts out saying, Let both grow together until the harvest. And what we see here in this parable is that uh, Jesus is telling about an owner of a field and he plants wheat. And an enemy comes in during the night and he plants tares or weeds. And, um, and the owner of the field is upset about this, but he has to consider what are we going to do about this? And this is what he's discussing with the workers of the field. And at the end of it, what he comes to is where we're at right now today and says, let both grow together until the harvest. And so brothers and sisters, this is an interesting thought because um, what I was contemplating doing today is weeding some beds of, of uh, flowers. And I'm going to go out there and I'm going to pull the weeds. And one of my concerns when I pull weeds is that it's easy to pull up flowers too. Because when weeds and flowers in our mesh, um, if you pull up one, it's easy to uproot another. And this is what the owner here is contemplating. And so he decides to let them to grow together. Okay. And uh, so when he went on, he says, at that time, I will tell the harvesters, first collect the weeds and tie them in bundles to be burned. So what I'm going to do when I go outside is I'm going to pull up the weeds and I'm going to put them into bundles. And I'm not going to burn them per se, but I'm going to put them in a bag that my city takes away. And, um, and then when I'm done picking up those weeds, then I'm going to go back and I'm going to trim up my flowers. Well, so in this case, he's collecting the weeds and tying them in bundles to be burned, and then he's going to gather the wheat and bring it into the barn. Well, this just kind of reminds me of all of life, right? So in our life, what we find is that we're going along and things are going really great. And then there's a weed that comes into our life and tries to choke us out. And what we know about this earth that we live on right now is that good and bad coexist together. And that's what we see here in this verse. We see good and bad coexisting together. And we see uh, pestilence. We see disease. We see uh, evil. We see hurt. We see all this stuff is existing alongside the believer. But the thing, I guess, that was, um, that, I guess spoke to my heart about this is what did what is the wheat's response to the weeds because um, the owner here says to keep them together and that's the place that we find ourselves in right now we're together we're all together the good and the evil all together but did the wheat become something different no did the wheat become less wheat no, no. So what my encouragement to all of us, brothers and sisters, 
um, in Christ. If you have not accepted Christ, today is your day. Call on the name of the Lord. Ask him to save you. Let me know that you have so I can help you get hooked up with a local church that's good. Um, but for right now, brothers and sisters, we must just coexist until, until the time of the harvester. And that idea of time, that word is kairos, and it means the right time, the opportune time, the proper time, the appointed time. God knows his time. And we don't. And it's our job to live in this world with all that's around us and to hold forth the light. Well, that's the word for today, brothers and sisters. Again, you can find this in Matthew chapter 13, starting in verse 24. Hope you have a blessed day. God bless us all. Bye-bye.